Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Luis. Today is September 22nd, 2024, and God bless to every single one of you. Guys, if you can, please subscribe, hit that notification bell. We have a big breaking news, red alert, disaster for Vladimir. The Satan-2 nuclear missile explodes at launch site. This marked the fourth consecutive failed test of the missile, leaving a massive crater at the site and casting doubt on its reliability. The Samarit Satan II is considered a key part of the bear strategic arsenal, but the ongoing issue have raised concerns about its effectiveness. Not today, Satan, not today. Guys, before I start, uh, we're gonna go with the verse of the day, 1 Corinthians chapter 9, Verse 22. To the weak, I became weak. To win the weak. I have become all things to all men, so that by all possible means, I might save some. Thoughts on today's verse. Christ left heaven mm, and become, uh, became one of us. Endured the worst from us and served us to save us. Paul sacrificed everything to share the gospel with both Jews and Gentiles and be able to save some. What have we done? What have we left? What have we given up? What have we endured? What have we done to become someone better able to share Jesus with those we love, know, or influence. Even more, what have we done to reach the lost, whom we don't know, and who are not like us, so that they can follow Jesus? Let's do whatever it takes to follow Paul's example and his description of Jesus as his example. In your relationship with one another, have the same mindset as Christ Jesus, who, being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be used to his own advantage. Rather, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man. He humbled, humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Philippians chapter 2, verse 5 through 8. Here's a prayer. Father of mercy, God almighty, so rich in steadfast love, please give me eyes to see those around me with need, Jesus, who need Jesus, excuse me. Empower me with the courage and the humility to share his grace and bless me with a sense of timing to share Jesus with them when they are ready to know of his love. I want to do everything possible to win, as many as possible, especially those whose hearts are ready to know Jesus. In his name, I pray. Amen. Guys, for those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Luis Santiago. Oh, my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Guys, remember, Paul, before Paul, he was the Pharisees of the Pharisees persecuting Christians. And he's his IQ, incredible. I mean, he learned, he studied the Old Testament, but he lacked wisdom when it came to the gospel until he heard the voice of Jesus. Paul, Paul, why are you, uh, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting my people? When he heard the voice, he changed, became Paul, the apostle. Now, it wasn't easy for Paul. He was being uh, whipped. He was being beaten. He was in prison. He was locked up many times. He went to Corinth 
to spread the gospel to the Galatian, to the church. He went all over the place. He served many years in prison. He did all that for Jesus. He had everything. He had it all. He was a Pharisee of the Pharisee. He had the fame. He had everything. The women. He had uh, the money. He had all of it. He's like, I don't want that. I heard the voice. And this voice changed my life. Jesus came to Paul. So he let go of everything and he did it for Jesus. He did it to share the good news to many people. We all have that gift too. We all have that special gift. Get into the word of God and stay in prayer. We all have a gift. Again, we all have a purpose in life. So I pray that these verse of the day helps many of you. And uh, please uh, study the verse, memorize, the ver memorize these verse, and share it to your loved ones. And uh, again, it's very important to stay in prayer and stay uh, communicated with many other brothers and sisters in Christ. All right. So Jesus speaks about nation against nations. In the Gospel of Luke, Matthew, Mark, John, he gives us warnings about all these events to come. Jesus says when these things happen, it is a sign that I am returning. Now people are going to be like, Lewis, war has been going on for so many years and blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Noah warned the people of a flood over 100 years. Stop looking at the, the time. Stop looking at the uh, years and weeks and all that. Look at the signs. Pay attention to the signs. Me as a watchman is to inform many of you that things will come and Jesus will 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 come back. His return is imminent. Guys, for those of you that want to contribute to the channel, we do have the PayPal link in the description box. Patreon is going to be Monday, Monday morning. We moved Patreon for Monday. We started doing Patreon last week on a Monday. So it's a dollar a month. It helps with the channel. And uh, again, we truly thank every single one of you for being a member of the Patreon. All right. So uh, thank you so much for the love and support. All right. So disaster for Vladimir. This uh, Satan too. Again, this name was given by the U.S. and Europe. They gave the name Satan too. Now, the real name of this nuke is the Samart. That's the name. But again, it's so big, so powerful. This thing is a monster that the U.S. decided to call it the Satan 2. The Satan 1 is a lot scarier, all right? It's the Tsar Bomba. That is the monster one. Uh, it actually, when they detonated that nuke, it actually sends shockwave throughout the entire world. So they call that the Satan 1. This one here is the Satan 2, which failed. Now, guys, this is not the first time. The U.S. also, uh, hypersonic has failed many times. North K missile fails many times. This is why they do this training. So the failure is the fourth in a row and will come as a serious blow to both Vladimir and the Kremlin. Now, I believe that uh, they might be doing this on purpose to mess with the minds of the enemies. Now, again, when it comes to Vladimir, I demand... I study his mind. You know, a lot of stuff that he says is baloney. <laughs> so, I mean, not all of it. And when it comes to these tests, I feel like they do this on purpose. Ah, just just blast it there. So that way the Western see that, you know, they pretend that we are weak or sign. Not pretend, but uh, to know that, you know, give him false hope. Put it like that. Satellite imagery has appeared to show a massive crater. At a bare missile test center after a nuclear capable RS 28 Samart exploded in a humiliating blow for Vladimir. The equipment known in the West as the Satan 2 is regarded by the Kremlin as a powerful tool within its arsenal. However, the latest incident is believed to be the fourth successive failure, calling its reliability into question. Or maybe they just messing with you guys. Like I said, I believe there's a possibility they might be messing with them. It says here, Shaving Planet Lab pictures taken at Plansensk uh, Cosmodrome in a blast on social media 
this person commented, as is readily apparent, the RS-28 Smart test was a complete failure. The missile detonated into the si wow, into the silo, leaving a massive crater and destroying the test site. <laughs> Jeez! The Smart is a liquid-fueled missile, so this accident could have occurred separate from the actual launch activity. It destroyed the silo. It destroyed basically everything that's in there. Yeah, that is not good news. <laughs> Man. Jeez. Uh, he continued, if this occurred as part of the fuel fueling process, it could explain the lack of Cobra Ball activity on the day of the incident. Hmm. The first and last successful test of the Samart was April 20th, 2022. With these events now official, this is at least the fourth failed test attempt of the combat operational Samart Heavy ICBM. Note, the four fire trucks responding to the forest fire, the R-28 Samart, measuring 35 meters in length, has an operational range of 11,000 miles and is understood to cost, I don't know how much is that in US currency. You guys can leave the comments down below. Uh, however, speaking in March, Kiev military expert of the information resistant group described the Satan 2 as unreliable and dangerous. He told the RBC crane it's a very probla problematic missile. Look at this crater. Look at that. That's the crater right there. September 21st, 2024. You see the right side? That dark spot? That's the, uh, actually, the whole thing is a crater, right? Or that one black spot. So the missile detonated in the silo, leaving a massive crater and destroying the test site. Wow. Data points still coming in for the launch site, and I'm being to and I'm beginning to think this is an ongoing fire started by the launch activity. NOAA 20 and other satellites have two detection as they cross the area in the orbit. Wow. Hmm. The bear couldn't even manage, manage test launches. The failure comes days after the bear boosted it, has successfully tested its Angawa 1.2 launch vehicle with a military used spacecraft at the facility on Tuesday. So, a defense ministry statement said the aerospace forces successfully launched the Angawa 1.2 launch vehicle from this region. I'm going to skip the name. At 10 a.m. from the State Test Cosmodrome of the Ministry of Defense of the Bear Federation in this region, a combat crew of the Aerospace Forces Space Forces successfully launched the Angawa 1.2 light launch vehicle with spacecraft in the interest of the Bear Ministry of Defense. It says here, a major Ukrainian drone strike set multiple of the Bear Arms depots ablaze, destroying what Crane's general staff said were thousands of tons of weaponry, including missiles from North K. Whoa. They destroy a missile that came from North K, possibly the, uh, the short range. Zelensk, meanwhile, appealed for quick action from the sleeping giant to send more. We want more. More equipment! More! Oh, by the way, he came out yesterday. He, uh, Mr. Z, Zelensk, 
he said that in the past two and a half years, 80,000 forces out. Uh, yeah, dude, can you stop lying? <laughs> Meg, can you stop lying? 80,000. 80,000. In other words, if you, if you compare Zelensky to King David, he made King David look so bad. You guys know King David is a mighty warrior. King David took down enemies. I mean, he took down enemies. He took down enemies. Remember, Saul is like, if you bring me 10,000, you know, I give you my daughter. David's like, all right, I got you. He came back with double. He's like, hey, man, instead of 10,000, I got you 20,000. The king was very upset because he... He wanted uh, something bad to happen to David. And, but David's a mighty warrior. So Zelensky looked like he, uh, he, he outbeat David. Zelensky, how do you do it, man? You like the, you better than King David, right? It's, give me a break. Zelensky, again, it's not no 80,000 forces. Uh, more like 500,000 gone, half a million. All right, that's the reason why he comes here all the time asking for ching ching and we need your sons and daughters. You don't need our sons and daughters. You say 80,000 forces are gone. You still have more than 800,000, so you don't need our sons and daughters. And meanwhile, they have uh, conscriptions out there in their white van. They picking up whatever male is out there walking the street. They pick them up and throw them in a the van. And then put them in the front line. I, if you lost 80,000, you don't need to be picking up no one off the street. Crane launched more than 100 drones at the Bear and at the occupied Crimean Peninsula overnight. The Bear News reports and Defense Ministry said yesterday. That's where we are, ladies and gentlemen. Someone said no one checked it for pagers. <laughs> again, that was just a joke. But uh, again, guys, like I said, this is not the first time. Uh, many, 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 many countries, uh, when they fire or test launch their equipments, a lot of them do fail. Here we go. Let me just bring this up really quick. Zelensk says Crane loss un under under eighty thousand in two and a half years. Yeah. Stop. Stop, dude. Stop. There is a downfall population in Crane. Stop, man. Stop. So this is where we are right now, guys. Um the bear test launch of the Samarit failed, left a massive crater. And, um, geez, that thing was huge. So, again, Noah's satellite picked up the uh, crater. So, the link will be in my Twitter page if you guys want to check out the article. And uh, this is where we are right now, guys. And uh, Samar 2 failed, which, again, they call it the Satan 2. Not today, Satan. Not today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Once again, for those of you that want to give a light to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many and to lead many to the righteous path. And that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or prayer requests, you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, at 3432 U.S. Highway 19, number 2, Holiday, Florida, 34691. Once again, guys, $1 a month Patreon will get you access to our live stream every Sunday. We talk about things that we cannot talk about on the platform. Also, I posted videos today. Those links will be in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you all. Put faith and trust in Jesus Christ. Face the only way, the truth, and the life. No one gets to the Father but to Jesus. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time. Later. Peace.